well for this beautiful project you need the uh, ESP8266 board node MCU the uh, the music uh, the audio player uh, DF player mini the module DF player mini an audio player DF player mini is an audio player module with a simplified output directly connected to the speaker this device supports files like mp3 wav file and wma file on top of the uh, df player mini we have a sd card adapter it supports sd cards with capacity up to 32 gigabyte the format of your sd card should be ad16 and fad32 you can power the df player mini with a 3.2 volt or 5 volt dc power supply the audio player uses uart protocol to communicate with arduino uno board of course the uh, mq135 uh, sensor smoke and uh, guys yeah and so on sensor of course the uh, only this screen or um, uh, only the display and uh, this speaker 20 ohm one watt of course the uh, SD card okay should be F80 16 or F80 uh, 32 okay let me put the uh, sd card onto i don't know into uh, yeah okay the sd card onto into the uh df player i mean okay this is the a k ohm resist one k ohm resistor i connect the uh uh the board the, the microcontroller uh, on the breadboard now i put the um, so the uh, 1k ohm resistor should be attached to the uh, rx of the uh, df player mini rx okay like that great okay the sensor okay i put that on this side of the breadboard but uh, let me just first set up the um, the f play i mean with uh, uh, node mcu so the rx is going is to be attached to the um, tx gpio um, let me see gpio i forgot the gpio gpio 15 and uh, this wire okay the tx to the uh, gpio 13 okay rxd2 just like that beautiful huh? moving on okay now we have two grounds here that uh, we need to ground them okay these two ground on the uh, left side on the right side so these two ground grounds we ground them just let me do that so that uh, we can have space okay no no yeah it's okay right now now i put back the uh, the wires like that okay right now we need to ground okay the ground so it's going to the uh, uh ground okay like that and uh now the vcc of the diff df player main is 
attached to the uh, 3.3 I mean the in of the microcontroller the in just like that okay I think it's okay may okay uh, we have only two holes here maybe I need to change to do some trick here tricks um let me think okay maybe I need to do that then uh, because we we're gonna be connecting the uh OLED display to V in too so I think uh it's better that way now the smoke sensor uh, okay or guy sensor uh now this is the uh the data pin ad okay the uh analog pin two uh, um two esp8 to 66 pin a0 and not an analog pin now the vcc of course to um let me put back the vcc to 3.3 volt let me just put back like that then uh yeah my cable cable um is short so okay now to 3.3 volts now um one more cable to uh to ground okay now we'll just set up the uh meq uh 100 35 sensor okay no this is okay um no it, it won't work we, we connect that uh let me think we can connect that here yeah, for example yeah it should do i think Okay, now uh, the uh, OLED display. Okay, the OLED display. The OLED display, the first um, wire is to be attached, attached to, I mean, This is the SDA uh, GPIO file. Uh, I mean, G GPIO four. Okay, that okay. GPIO four, and uh, that's the data pin. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, the data pin, and uh, this is the clock pin to gpio uh four okay scl scl so now um let me just pick a red cable Put cable um, to the end, so the end is here. Yeah, like that. Now, this is the ground. Okay, we we've just set up the uh, OLED display. Now you connect, okay, the speaker, okay, 
the plus of the speaker goes to SP K2, I mean K1, okay, of the DF play, I mean, and um, the minus of the speaker goes to SP uh, K2, okay. I'm going to show you the um, schematic, okay. This okay, is the, the uh, uh, schematic. The, the diagram of our project, okay. So I used uh, this audio, okay. You need to name it uh, 001 so that, so that it can work. So this is the code. The audio and the code I'm going to provide, okay, in the description of this video, okay, and also the uh, schematic, okay. I'm going to put the the link of those uh, three things in the description. So for this project, you install this library, okay, the first one. The, and uh, the second one this is for OLED display okay Th this one so now testing time 